so uh, Jim had the elbow we needed for the uh, drain line to get that into his washing machine drain for the wastewater. So got that all set up. Last item of business are the sumps uh, pump or the wastewater pump. So we may as well connect that. I got our little handy dandy hot water here, just kind of heat that hose up to make it a little bit more pliable. Um, this will be our wastewater pump that pumps water from the sump into the wastewater metering bin. Go ahead and get this connection over it. So, nice clamp, clamp, and I want to use a clamp in the critical spots here, so get some clamp on there. All right, so we're all set up here. We got our wastewater pump installed. We have our overflow line going into the sump as well. Um, we have our new salt water line in here. So the last parts will be setting up the uh, Renew controller and the connections. Um, and we'll also be adding a little doorbell button out there so that when Jim presses the doorbell, it'll tell the Apex to turn on the mixing pump and run it for an hour. That way when he's adding new salt, he can hit the button. Then the uh, mix pump will turn on and run for an hour as he's raising his salinity. So stay tuned for the next part and we'll finish up this installation, get the uh, Renew all wired up, and then we'll get into programming. Geo's Reef, the fabricator of the world famous Geo Calcium Reactor line, has released a new dual chamber reactor. The CR612X2 is designed for hobbyists concerned with low effluent pH. Geo reactors utilize the bottom-up water flow method to capture free CO2 and draw it back into the circulation pump. This design consumes less gas in the reaction chamber and less gas in the effluent. Not sure which reactor is best for you? Geo provides several different models. Geo reactors are fabricated in the USA. Check out geosreef.com today. Do you enjoy watching LA Fish Guys? Do you feel like a fish guy when servicing your own aquarium? Would you like to feel like part of the LA Fish Guy team? For a limited time, get your LA Fish Guys t-shirts or embroidered polo shirts today. These 100% cotton Hanes beefy tees are $20 and the embroidered black polo t-shirts are 50% cotton and 50% polyester and are only $25. Visit MyFishTank.com, look for the LA Fish Guys link, and order your LA Fish Guys shirts today before they sell out. Some sizes may be limited and may not be available. And be sure to visit the LA Fish Guys website to see all 152 reinstated LA Fish Guys episodes, including the original 35 shows. And always, keep moving forward. Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. All right, so we're on the home stretch. Um, we got all the plumbing lines done. Next thing to do is wire up the Renew or do the connections to the Renew controller. Um, we set it on here just for no good reason other than to check everything. And we also strapped down some of our lines here. Um, so on the Renew controller on the back here, we've got some plug connections here, um, aquarium water, and uh, replacement water. This is also where you plug in the float switches to these little connections for float switches for the sump that would turn this off if the sump ever got too low as well as for the mixing tank if the mixing tank ever got too low. But again, we have an apex in this situation that monitors our sump level. If the sump is ever too low, it'll shut the Renew off because the Renew is now plugged into the apex outlet. So first item of business is to plug in the mixing tank. Mixing tank, or er, er, excuse me, First item of business is not to plug in the mixing tank. The first item of business we to plug in the metering bin for the aquarium water. I'll plug in there like so.
next item of business will be to unplug this and replug it in so we can wrap the wire properly. in here makes it a little difficult to see the connector. There we go. Alright, next item of business is to plug in the new salt water bin or metering bin here. So we'll put that one in here. Again, this is the connection to the metering bin. There's little float switches in there that tell it when it's full, when it's not. So we've got our two connections. This is the metering bin for the aquarium water. This is for the metering bin for the new salt water. We'll hang that on there. Like so. Let me wrap that wire nice behind there so let's unplug this one again. Run it behind this hose. Rehang it. Alright. The last item of business is to connect our pump. So we've got one plug here. For the sump pump or the pump for the wastewater. And we'll go into the aquarium side. And the last one, we've already got an extension cord hooked up to our pump in our new salt water tank. We'll get rid of this wrapper there. And plug that in here. So now that's it for the connections. Um, at this point, we can turn on the renew. Um, the renew is actually turned off through the apex. I didn't want to have this thing turn on inadvertently, so it will not turn on. Um, what we'll do next is clean up these hoses, mount them down. You'll notice we also got a little doorbell switch in here. This is plugged into the apex breakout box, so when Jim's going to add salt to his mixing bin here to bring the salinity up from what it is in the other tank, we'll push and hold this button for a couple seconds. That will automatically turn on this pump here, which is also connected to the apex, and the pump will run for one hour. Um, we've also got the outlet that this pump is plugged into programmed so that every three hours this pump will turn on for 10 minutes to keep the mixing salt water, the new salt water in here fresh. Um, not necessarily necessary to run it that often, but it's what I've done for years and I use the same programming for my Apex um, on Jim. So uh, at this point, we've got all the connections. We'll go ahead and clean these wires up and uh, at that point Jim will go ahead and leak test his uh, new mixing tank. We'll run some bleach through it overnight, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we'll go in and set up his Renew for automatic water changes. So stay tuned for the next episode where we set up the Renew to uh, do his water changes for him.